from Australian schoolboy sensation in 2007. Matt went straight to Super Rugby, and apart from some injury hiccups, he certainly justified all the hype. Even though he'd been, uh, he would be rather the last to talk himself up. Some say he's been picked out of position, but the benefits of simply having him on the field are pretty plain for all to see. Here's Tim Sheridan. His life has mostly been rugby, yet that's not the real Matt Tamua. I'm very, very big on balance in rugby and in life. Um, I, I don't think about rugby all week long. I, I actually don't watch much rugby, to be honest with you. I'm quite, uh, I like to get away from it and then um, switch on when, need, you know, when I need to. So I like to read a lot. I like to just you know, travel a lot or whatever and do other things. So I think that's important, important for my headspace, but also for my rugby point of view. I think they kind of work hand in hand. Injury was unbalancing things badly until last year. The Brumbies went all the way to the Super Final and knocked off the British and Irish Lions. The Wallabies didn't, and that partly explained Tamua's next step. How did you feel when a brand new Wallaby coach chose a brand new number 10 to face the All Blacks? Yeah, it's huge call. Um, I don't know if it worked out, we lost that game. <laughs> but no, it was, it was a massive honour to get that, I guess, that support. Um, you know, I, the first game, obviously, in Sydney was um, big moment for me making the debut and against the All Blacks and uh, a, lot of, a lot of nerves and I thought it was you know a lot of pressure I think after that game um, felt like a relief to kind of get that one out of the way and then um, be able to focus on performance a bit more. Matt was benched after the second test but then replaced his good mate Christian Liliafano for test three. Was it easy to reinvent yourself in a wallaby jumper in a in a different number as a 12? Um, it was actually it, it, it wasn't as hard as I first thought um, you know you, I got the opportunity to play 12 against the All Blacks again, a um, bit of a baptism of fire, but I, uh, I didn't tell Link the last time I wore number 12 was uh, under 11s, so uh, hopefully he doesn't know that. Tamua's talents have never been a secret. Drafted from schoolboy gold in the 10 straight to super level, last year he adapted brilliantly to be a star on the Wallaby Spring Tour. Uh, a lot of the time, the 10, your eyes are, uh, are focused in on the rack at 12, where you just have a bit more peripheral vision and, and notice where the space is and help the 10 out. So I think being a 10, it really gives me a good understanding of what he's going through, and then I can relay those calls on. Make it easier for him. Yeah, exactly. I think the, a lot of the best 12s are guys who have, uh, at some stage, played 10. Off the field, butter wouldn't melt in Matt's mouth. He's the opposite to an amigo. He's probably the guy who everyone would want their daughter to go out with. Matt would probably have to concede some talent to his girlfriend Elise Perry. A Matilda, Southern Star and undergraduate, she's a lesson in time management. I've definitely learnt a lot uh, from her from a sport, sporting perspective. Um, you know, she, more than anyone I've seen, she just enjoys her sport and I think that's really important. You know, at the end of the day, that you, you're signed up at a rugby club because you want to have a bit of fun and I think that's really important even at the elite level. Mm. Do you ever see each other? Yeah. Um, <laughs> At different times here and there, a lot of times we're in hotels, unfortunately, but uh, we make it work.